Hi, first graders. Today is Monday, and now normally we would be in our small groups at this time, but Ms. Winkler's finishing packing up our classroom, so you're going to watch this video without me. I miss you all so much, and I'll get to see you tomorrow. All right, let's get started. So, we're going to start our lesson with our morning greeting. You have the choice between a high five, a fist bump, a hug, a handshake, or just to say hello. I'm gonna give you five seconds to make your choice, and when I say the words go, you're gonna do your reading through the computer. Go. Good morning, first graders. All right, friends, let's talk about what we're doing today. We are gonna do some more math practice. We're gonna warm up our brains with our fluency game to get our brains thinking, and then we're going to review greater than, less than, and equal to. Then you're gonna get to do a problem set in our packet. Now that you know what we're doing, let's talk about what you can do. Repeat after me. I can compare two numbers. How many numbers? Very good, two. I can decide if they are greater than, less than, or equal to each other. Very good. Let's warm up our brains before we get started with that. Today, we're gonna to be using tens frames. So you're gonna look at how many dots are inside a tens frame. The frame's gonna come on, you're gonna count the number, and then you're gonna yell it out when I say go. Don't yell it out till I say the magic words go. Go. Very good, friends. The answer is 10. Go. It is five. Go. It is nine. Good job. Eight, very good. Last one. Go. Five, very good, boys and girls. Kiss your smart, smart brain. Your brain is now warmed up and ready to learn. So today, Miss Winkler said that we were gonna do greater than, less than, and equal to. Let's talk about what these words mean. Greater than means bigger, everyone say bigger. Less than means smaller, everyone say smaller. And equal to means that they are the same, everyone say they are the same. Good, greater than, bigger, less than, smaller, equal to, the same. Now that we know these words, we can talk about the symbols we use. When we are talking about numbers, sometimes I don't want to use a lot of words, and so we use symbols. Now, over here is my hungry alligator friend, Allie. And Allie likes the biggest number. So, wherever the alligator mouth is open to is what the biggest number is and what it wants to eat. Then we use the equal sign if the numbers are the same. So remember, Hungry Alligator Alley wants to eat the biggest number. Everyone say the biggest number. Good job, friends. All right, let's talk about that. We read numbers from left to right. So from 10 to 11. Everyone say 10, 11. Very good. Now we got to figure out what symbol we use, and then that's going to tell us what word matches. So on my small whiteboard, I'm going to write the numbers 10 and 11. Now, these are my two numbers. I read them from left, which on this side 
starts here with the 10 and goes to the 11. It's flipped on my board. Then my hungry alligator wants to be open to the biggest number because the alligator alley likes the biggest number. So I'm going to draw my alligator mouth open to the number 11 because I know that 11 is bigger. Now I'm going to read my problem. Repeat after me. 10 is less than 11. So I have this sign and the words less than. Let's try that one more time. 10 is less than 11. Very good. Okay, that was my first problem. Let's do another one. Okay, we read from left to, to right, very good. So the first number is 21, the second number is 19. Now, it's going to look flipped on my board, but that's okay. Okay, so I have 21 and 19. Now, the hungry alligator wants to open to the biggest number. What is my biggest number, friends? Is it 21 or is it 19? Well, I heard friends say 21. Very good. So when I draw my alligator mouth, I know it has to be open to 21. Now, let me write the word that works with it. Okay, read this with me. 21 is greater than 19. Very good. Let's do another one. I read from left to right. So if I have the number 10 here, I read 10 over here and then 10 over here. Wait a second. These two numbers are the exact same. If these two numbers are the exact same, the hungry alligator can't eat the bigger number because they're the same. And what that means is that they are equal to each other. Everyone say equal. So, when I read my problem, we're going to use the words equal to, which talks about this right here. Repeat after me. 10 is equal to 10. Very good. We only use the equal sign when the numbers are the same. All right, last one we're gonna do. We read from left to right. I see the number four here and I see the number four here. Uh-oh, these numbers are the same. So is the hungry alligator gonna be able to choose the bigger number? No, very good, because they're the same. When they're the same, we use the equal sign. So I'm gonna write the equal sign right here. Then I'm also gonna write my words equal to. Now let's read it. Four is equal to four. Very good. Remember, we only use equal signs when the numbers are the same. All right, we have talked about greater than, less than, and equal to. For our problem set, we're only gonna work on equal to, which means the numbers have to be the same. You see a worksheet that has aliens on it. When I say go, you need to pause your video and go get the worksheet. Go. All right, friends. Now that you have the worksheet, you need to pause the video and write your name and your date. The date is at the tippity top, 4-27-20. Go. All right, friends. You've wrote your name and date on your paper. Next, when I say go, you need to go get scissors, glue, and crayons. Go. All right, if you are watching me again, you have your scissors, glue, and crayons and are ready to do your cut and paste. Repeat after me. Step one, 
cut. Step two, glue. Step three, color. Cut, glue, color. You're going to cut your aliens out and you have to match these aliens with these aliens over here. I see the equal sign, which means I know they are the same. When you finish gluing, you're gonna double check your work to make sure you didn't make any mistakes. And then you're gonna color your alien cut and paste. When you finish all of that, you're gonna text me a picture of your hard work so I can see it. I'm gonna finish packing up our room and I will see you on Tuesday for more learning. Bye friends, have a great day.